Let's make some meat pies. So we need some red or green pepper and nicely chopped onions. We'll need some bread flour, some cooking oil, some salt, garlic powder, bisto, and some nicely chopped beef steak. So the steak has been boiling for 35 to 40 minutes. Then you chop it into small, small pieces. You boil it in some water with some cooking oil and some salt. Don't forget to like and follow for more of these videos. And we also need some buttercup margarine. Then we chop the meat into small, 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 small pieces. I hope you've liked this video. Okay? It helps me, you know, it motivates me to make more videos. Then when you're done chopping the meat, put it back in the pot that you used to boil the meat in. Then you put in the same onions. Then you mix them for a while, for about 15, 10 minutes. Then for a thickener, we'll get one and a half tablespoons of flour. Put in a cup with a full tablespoon of bisto, a bit of black pepper, and a bit of garlic powder. Don't forget to like and follow. <laughs> I emphasize on liking and following and sharing. And if you have questions, please, please leave a comment. I will respond when I have time. Yeah, so it's really easy to make meat pies. Nothing really complicated. These are just meat pies for home. And I hope you learn one or two things. And you open just a garlic powder and you put it in there. Then when we are done, we'll mix all the dry ingredients in the cup. Then we'll add a bit of water to make the thickener. If you have questions, please leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe and follow. It's very important. If you are watching on Instagram, YouTube, subscribe, leave a like. It will help me. Leave your questions in the comment section. Mention your friends so that they can learn something also. So you can see here the dry ingredients are being mixed nicely. And then we'll pour a bit of water in the cup. Then we mix again. Don't mind the video. I'm just trying to, you know make the best video as possible as time goes out the videos will start getting better and better and better and better so you mix the flour there then you pour it into the pot then you continue mixing it and mixing it for about 15 to 10 minutes this is the recipe for the beef but i also have some secret ingredients that i will tell you if you pay me some money <laughs> you know help me to support each other after 10 15 minutes it becomes thick and nice like that you can see how it is because pies are supposed to be soupy not dry like and follow so for the dough we'll put uh, eight cups of flour in the dish and we are done put it in and putting the flour in the dish you use measuring cups very important to have measuring cups in your kitchen put eight cups of flour and a teaspoon of salt you put a teaspoon of salt then you mix your what your dry ingredients make sure you mix your dry ingredients first then when you are done mixing your dry ingredients you put 250 grams of butter into the bowl for flour don't forget to like and follow if you have not already yes when you do that then you get your butter so this is 500 grams of butter so i'm just going to use half of it which is 250 Put it in the dish then with my hands now i will start mixing the flour and the butter make sure you mix it nicely 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 you can see now it's finally mixed it looks like crumbs and you can even smell the butter if you, you are making it you smell the butter in your in the flour then you add some water into the bowl for those who are who will ask no is it cold water is it warm water is it hot water this is just room temperature water you add water bit by bit bit by bit and mix you add water bit by bit and mix you add water bit by bit you mix just like that so the consistency of the dough shouldn't be too hard it shouldn't be too soft and after mixing it looks like this you can see hey tafia shupa no shupa pies are not difficult then you get your chopping board where you're going to be rolling from then you get a small piece of dough about the size of an egg or the size of a mukusufonshima but a bit bigger then you smear some flour on your chopping board then when you smear flour on the chopping board you get some flour you sprinkle on top also then you roll with your rolling pin you make sure you roll it to to a very nice thickness so the dough shouldn't be too thick and again shouldn't be too thin 
So you roll it nicely. It's not even difficult to roll. Oh no, pies are difficult. What, what? They're not difficult. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. Leave a comment, mention your friends, and share the video. So when you've rolled your dough, you get some of your filling, and you put in the middle of your heart, of your dough. For those who want physical lessons, just WhatsApp the number on your screen. Then we can make some arrangements. Then you close your pie. When you close your pie, you just dip with your fingers like that. And then you get a knife. And then you cut in the sides. Cut in the sides nicely, nicely. Don't forget to like and follow. Huh? The farmer followers of Coco 10k. Mention, like, subscribe, share. If you have questions, leave in the comment section. So that's how we close our pies. Then you get the pie. If you want, you can do with like a fork on the sides. It's okay. And then you put it there. Your pie, you are poor. My mona pie. That's the pie there. So repeat the process. Let me show you again. Put some feeling there don't forget to like the video huh? oh, me, i'm emphasizing on liking don't just watch my videos no liking put some feeling then you close then when you've closed it you get a knife then you cut be careful with the knife hmm? this knife i was using was very sharp you cut it on the sides, on the sides. So if you want, you can add carrots in your filling. You can add potatoes, but not too much potatoes. Stuff you want, if I'm not buying potatoes, ah, they usually feel a bit dryish when I add too many potatoes. And you can get your fork, then you can do that as well. You don't need to poke on top. It's fine, just like that. It's fine as long as nine kilos. And again, don't put too much filling when you're doing this. Just put enough and you put there on baking paper. If you don't have baking paper, you can just smear your baking pan with butter. Then you put the pies directly on the pan. That's if you don't have baking paper. Then you get a brush. Sorry, uh, this brush. Guys, sorry, this brush is a kitchen. It looks like a brush for painting, but guys, it's a brush. So you brush on top. You can see here. Make sure you brush all your pies with egg, you, a, a, a beaten egg. You brush. These are some of the other pies. Yeah, these are going to be frozen for the freezer. So that's how you, you brush your pies. You make sure you brush them every. If you don't brush your pies, if you are not bad, pie na ipia, more than number, it's just looking white. So it's very important to brush your pies so that even when they are ready, they come out quite brownish so the camera quality is not